Chris Pratt here. Welcome back. Episode number 55 for War on the Pacific, War on the Sea. Here we are, 654, 8th of November, 1942, day 255, five command dollar dues in the bank. Um, and very little Japanese Navy left, <laughs> if I'm not mistaken. So let's go ahead and check everybody out here. So Task Force 2 cruising around up here. Good screen of planes. All kinds of boys coming out of Saipan. We have battle wagons coming in hot and heavy down towards Guam. Um, let's go ahead and rename this. Come on. What do we got? Task Force 49. Let's call this uh, Task Force 44 Bell Pain Train. There we go. <laughs> 44 should work. So, well, it's 1942, whatever. So, and then you guys, Task Force 78 Amphib Group is coming in. And then you guys are coming towards that pan with all kinds of goodies, fuel, engineering, supplies, 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 gas, engineering. 88 engineering. Why is that? Are we low? No, that's just the max that guy can carry. Yeah, we want to get another... We want to get another uh, logistic group set up. Herring down here, 18 torpedoes on board. Drum, 11, a little bit low. Haddock. We're just basically using these guys to screen anything out here to see if we can find anything. Uh, because they still have one heavy carrier left, although we're not going to see her for a while. So we're a little bit more interested in finding... Um, that battleship down here. These guys are heading in towards Milne because Milne is out of fuel. Yes, and so we need fuel and more supplies to rearm our Australian fighter boys. Horsepite, Malaya, Oz. One of these guys was really banged up. I think it's Napier. Might be Nizam too. Really banged out. We might want to actually rotate those guys out as well. So, it's okay. Let's just leave those guys here for the moment. Carriers, Task Force 1, in the area. Full of planes. Oh no, really low on planes here. Wildcats, why are we losing so... Why are we missing so many Wildcats? Do we actually use them on something? I think they're covering this guy. Yeah, they are. They're covering this guy down here. Um, where are you, dude? Block Breton, Harris C3. What do we have here in Rabal? We still have 4,500 Marines and 3,400 supplies here. What do we got up here? We could probably use a little bit more of both. Because we'll get this up to a 1. This has no air base, so I'm not worried about them trying to come back here and mess with us. Yeah, let's go ahead and load up again. There you guys, there you guys are. And his cargoes. Let's load up some dudes here. Yoink. Ooh, that's almost all of them. Let's be cool here. We don't want to take everything. But if there's anything that we do want more engineering on, it would probably be this. So let's see, we've got... Uh, yeah, that's about the most that we want to take, and then we can suck up all the engineering. Let's go head back up there. Drop these dudes off. A little reinforcement, never hurt nobody. So S-boats, um, let's get you guys up this way. How are we doing on torpedoes here? Full, full load. Well, I don't know if that's full load. Eh, maybe. <laughs> I don't think we actually use torpedoes out of these guys. I don't know. Let's uh, go run up here. And then we're going to interdict up in this area up in here. I'm not going to worry about the gap down here too much. If they send anything else down towards Milne, uh, <laughs> we will beat it up. But good. Uh, what are you doing, man? RTB. Oh, no, idiot. Where to be? Here we go. <clears throat> I 
These guys are doing a pretty good job scoping out up here. Not great. Not terrible. Yeah, we'll just stay in the area. Should be okay. And then, of course, cover these guys. We might catch something on a truck. You never know. Looks like these guys are up here already. Um, let's go ahead and drop all the boys off. Manage cargo. Unload all cargoes. Let's check this out. Come Yang. Yeah, that, that, that's good. <laughs> that's pretty good. We'll go ahead and let's go ahead and run these boys back. What do we have over here? Five thousand Marines out here. We've got truck pretty much bottled up here. That's empty. This has got some stuff on it. Mm. Mm. Should probably bring that over to Saipan. Let's do that. These guys. Where are you guys? Actually, you know what? We really need to get more planes on these guys. Let's go ahead and run them down here to um, Mill. Well, ah, Mill's not that much further than Saipan anymore. Yeah, ah, screw that. Let's go ahead and pick up these boys off Wake. Keep you guys something like this. Go ahead and duck on around this way. Go up to Wake, pick up some boys, and we can resupply them at Saipan. Since that's up to a three, and we want to get up to a four. So, well, we want to get the airbase up to a five up here. This is going to be our the thumb that we're putting on the Japanese in the middle of the Pacific. While we take Guam, too. So we're going to have a lot of stuff coming in. These guys are... These guys are back. Um, what do we got? We only got two, three destroyers here. We might want to flush this out with some tankers. We have no monies, though. Let's just wait. I mean, we could just pick up all kinds of engineering and stuff. Kavyang is now ours. Yoink. We'll take it. That means we have aircraft out of here. We do not have aircraft out of here because we have no gas. So they're going to need some gas. So, Mill needs gas first. Yeah, so we might want to flush this out with some tankers. Here we go. Might be pretty boring here today. Or at least that's the theory. Boring is no excuse not to have beer. So... <laughs> You boys should write that down. <laughs> New channel model. <laughs> Boring is no excuse not to drink. So, all right, let's set these guys up. Just we just want to cruise on around out here. Set us up some nice little patrol boxes. Let's do something about like. Uh, that yeah perfect and eventually we're going to start wanting to probe out this way i don't think we're going to mess with Pelalu. we might i don't really see a good reason why and so we're just waiting for aircraft carriers something to show up out here you know what we're probably going to catch another bombard group this guy, I don't know where that guy's coming from. There might be a, a light carrier in here somewhere. If there is, we're going to blow the bejesus out of it. So, we have pretty good search coverage up in here. I like this in two different waves here. <laughs> of course, you got submarines way out there, too. Everybody being kind of cool here today. So, you guys cruising on around down here. We do want to flush this out a little bit more. Um, anybody here? Nobody here is damaged. Uh, except for Lex and York. Eh. <laughs> Flight decks still work. So, <laughs> that's the important part. <laughs> Alright, you guys coming into mill. Let's go back into mill here. Get this loaded up. So we can rearm these dudes. There we go. What do we got? Air ops back up. Nothing. Ah, yep. So it's time to go hit Guam. Let's go do that. 
Yeah, these guys are probably cruising in and out of Guam here. Maybe out of Iwo. There might be a carrier in here somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Famous last words. Let's go ahead and offload all these guys. Unload all cargo. How are we doing here now, man? 147? Yeah. We're not going to get this up to a 4. Uh, but we do have more than enough supplies and gas now to go ahead and resupply these guys. So let's do that. Rearm. Everybody here good? Yep, got all the fighty bits. So let's move on up to Kavyang up here. Um, I have no planes here. We got to get gas down there. So we do have $70 reduced now. So let's go ahead and get two more tankers in this group up here and send them down to Kavyang. Um, what do we want this up to? So 200 engineering plus 300 is 500 engineering, 500 fuel. We're not going to be able to do that in one run. We can probably get it up to a two, though. The question is, do we need to do that? Probably not. Um, regardless, let's go ahead and get some tankers in here. Because uh, these guys have three. So these $14 a piece. Yep, sure. Done. Merge. Uh, mergey merge. There we go. Have Yang. There we go. Because these guys are going to come back now. One, two, three destroyers. These have four destroyers. That's okay. Back to Midway, boys. And then you guys here. Not quite as long of a trip. We're just going to straight shoot it here. We'll see. Might catch something out of truck. Okay. Let's be a little bit more judicious here. There we go. Yeah, that'll be fine. Meanwhile, everybody here coming in hot. Including these guys. These guys do have boys. Yep, let's go invade. Let's go grab Guam here. Well, we're going to scrape it down first. <laughs> I'm going to turn it into the dark side of the moon. War Spite, kind of want to keep War Spite in here for just a, just a wee little bit, just in case something shows up. They might have actually kicked out another mission against Milne um, after we blew up the last one. So let's keep these guys close here just for a little bit. So, in fact, we can, can we launch planes out of here? We cannot. We have no gas. So that's kind of the thing. That's kind of the theme. Now we have no gas. We do have gas out of here. So let's make sure that we have decent search coverage coming out of Milne. Especially since we have um, Sunderlands out of here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and kick all these boys up. Just in case. Just in case these guys get a little fighty. Something like that. Give me another one. One more. Let's just put nice, good, long-range eyeballs up here. I mean, we have the carrier here, too, so. And the subs. Should be okay. So that guy's heading back. These guys are heading in. Battleship's in front. So uh, we might catch some planes tomorrow morning. We can cover them out of Saipan. So we'll set up some cap early in the morning. These guys here should be good. Oh, man, you know, because I'm a dumbass and I didn't re... Well, no, I, I did not. 
Because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> and this guy's got Hellcats on him. So, I mean, we could take a little, a little jaunt over here and rearm. Probably not a bad idea. <laughs> Let's go do that. <laughs> so here we go. Coming in hot. They should be there early in the morning. Go ahead and scrape this down. Then we're not going to have to worry about planes coming out of here anymore. Here we go. Seven command points back because of rest and repair. These guys coming in hot. Might be able to catch us here in the morning. Three minutes. Let's go ahead and just do this. Give me my wildcats. And this is uh, Task Force 44. Done. Task Force 44. Rinse and repeat. Let's get some cap over these guys. What is this? <laughs> you guys going to come fight us? That's a bad idea. <laughs> That's a real bad idea. <laughs> well, gentlemen, <laughs> let's go show them that we mean business. <laughs> All right, let's get our formation set up here. Where are you guys? Yeah. Yeah, this is a terrible idea on his part. Let's get the formation set up right, though. Battle line, um, one, two, three, four. We got one, two, three, four, five battleships here. Let's see. We might want to do something a little bit different. Uh, tempted to just do that. Two column scout. No, three column. No, I kind of want them spread out a little bit. No, that one's dumb. Battle line. <laughs> so they're coming in from the north. Yeah. Ten gut. No, dumb. Convoy. No, equally dumb. Arrow one's not a bad idea. Here. One, two, three, four, five. Those would be our battle wagons. So here we go. Um, let's 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 try this. I've never used this one. Uh, swap. No, come on. Swap. Uh, swap. Uh, swap. Swap. And then ten. Um, let's do seven and six to San Juan and San Diego. Swap. Okay. How you do? Um, should be close enough. We should be able to see them. Let's go ahead and barf up some uh, some search planes here. Yep. Yeah, we got kingfishers. We might as well use them. Whatever. We should be good. This this should do it. Here. Do north. Screw it. Let's just hit the tack button. Let's see if they're here. Oh, this is the wrong group. Dumbass. Derb. Not you guys. You guys. There we go. Arrow. Tactical. Let's give it a shot. Nope. Oh, loading. Loading, loading. Good signs. Everybody got the radars up? Everybody's got the radars up. They're right there. They are right there. What do we got here? What do we got here? We have got all kinds of victims. I guess we didn't need the... No, we do have a heavy cruiser. Or no, this is a Gano. Do we have a heavy cruiser here? We do. No, we do not. We have a whole bunch of light cruisers. Destroyers, light cruisers, light cruisers. Oh my goodness. Um, so Waller is in the lead. All right. Let's 
says Mississippi is in the lead. We're going to tear these guys to pieces. They're going to hit us with torpedoes. 9,000 yards? Yeah, we're going to catch a whole truckload of torpedoes here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm tempted to just fire a will here. Yep, go ahead and pick out your targets, boys. Pick out your targets, boys. We have them so ridiculously outgunned. Yeah, they're gonna shoot this Agano right here. Nah, they're shooting at everybody. <laughs> Shiryatsu Fubuki back here. Nobody's running out their torpedo tubes yet, though. This guy's already getting pounded. Yeah, 14 inch shells are gonna make a bad morning for you, buddy. Look at this. Bangy, bangy. Sunk. That was fast. <laughs> Ship fire, boys. And watching the torpedo tubes here. They are turning into us, though, so. Oh my god, yeah, this is a slaughter. Absolute slaughter. We do have a lot of torpedoes, though. We have to watch their tubes. See, these guys here aren't going to... Fanny is sinking. Fanny got hit hard. Look at that. Okay. Like skipping shells over there. The horizon here. Should probably micro this a little bit, but I don't really care. Kuma is down, so she's done though. Battleships are just gonna tear through every heavy target that they can find. So these guys here are probably next. They're gonna start attracting attention here real soon. Just have to watch the torpedoes. So. This guy's trying to avoid that guy who was sinking. So, here's another Gano. We got another one identified. Let's go ahead and... Uh, I'm going to just nab with the formation here. We're a thousand yards apart. And so, I'm going to let the boys kind of figure the things out. And let these dudes just absolutely wreck everything over there. Yep, you're next, dude. You put in our sights, you're gonna die. <laughs> you have to watch out for torpedoes, though. Um, let's get our bangy bangy. Let's get you guys to get your uh, sonars up. Because, in theory, that actually helps detect torpedoes. This guy's getting cooked already. So you're next on the menu, buddy. No, oh, it's alright. This guy's next on the menu. We are close enough where some of these guys with uh, five inch and six inch guns might actually be able to punch through some battle wagon armor, but I doubt it. So I'm more worried about torpedoes. I'm worried about this guy. This guy's dumb. Yep, this guy's done too. <laughs> yeah, totally done. Yep, 
done. Pagano is down. Blew up another dude here. Where is he? Up back here. Done. Done. Shirayatsu, done. We got three left. Does not have his torpedo tube slung out. Mm. Waller is taking some hits. And the Wildcats are going after the Boas. So they have these guys, these guys are dangerous. Not too worried about them though. Because we have battleships. A little bit tougher than I think that they're used to actually dealing with. This guy's gonna die quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. Cats are doing their thing. Here come the rest of them. Kingfishers are still out here. Not worried about them. Lost a wildcat. We're not seeing our torpedoes in the water just quite yet. This guy's cooked out here, whatever he is. So we got a full-blown three-dimensional battle going on here. Does not have his tube slung out. This guy out here is getting wrecked. So we still have the two Atlantas here. We're just gonna machine gun these dudes down. Cooked. Absolutely brutal. Absolutely. Oh my god. The destruction. <laughs> okay. Alright, I think he gets the idea, man. The bookie's down. We got two other little destroyers spooking around in here. One, two, three. Yugumo in here, she just launched torpedoes. Um, so let's go ahead and nav. Let's, uh, let's turn into him a little bit. She's pretty close though, man. We might actually get some hits. Well, Yoda just had a magazine explosion. Buki, someone here did get torpedoes off though. We're gonna have to watch for those. They're right here. Toyota is done. She's cooked. What's her speed? 18 knots? Yeah, let's just keep let's maintain speed. I think it was only three torpedoes that I saw there. Mm. Might be catching some more here in a minute. Mm. I didn't see any out there. Should see them coming up this way though. But just a little adjustment of course on our part would probably throw off their solution. Look at this man, these guys are just banging away here mm. on the horizon. It's almost like San Bernardino Strait, man. So, except for it's right outside of Guam. <laughs> so, we'll take it. We did lose a destroyer, though, man, so good on them. They just lost another one. Yugumo down. She's done. You got this guy out here. And this Fubuki right here. I think we got eyeballs on everybody. Here they come. Yep, we're gonna get range on you quickly. <laughs> yeah. Hey, buddy. <laughs> hey, buddy. Inbound. Shells of all size and caliber. <laughs> 
some of them really hurt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably get a screenshot in here for the day. Let's see if I can get one. Nice and mad and angry. Get back to it. We want to make sure we find the torpedoes. There's Red Top Penzi. Also having a good time. This is pretty good too. Let's see if I can get one here. Might take a minute. Alright, stop getting greedy. Let's watch out for them torpedoes. Yeah, one Fubuki left. There's only a dude left, man. And you're gonna die quickly. Please, man, they're even popping up star shells here this early in the morning just to make sure they can actually get the range on. So there's Colorado. Let's go back to Red Top Penzi, see if we can get a good, decent screenshot in here. Oh, I missed it. Missed it all. Look at all the destruction on the horizon there. Alright. Never mind. They're all done. All we have to do is watch out for those torpedoes, which I have not seen yet. Oh, damn. That's two. Let's see how bad it is. Hopefully that wasn't a magazine hit. It was not. Oh, thank God. Mississippi took one right on the nose and right on the stern. That's going to slow her down quite a bit. That's okay. We'll still go drop a bunch of shells on Guam. So. wonder if one of the torpedoes missed us. That was two hits. So speed is wrecked here. Hit us right in the flagship, man. So didn't see him coming. I mean, we knew where they were out there, but again, with this much firepower, we can take the hit. And they didn't actually get any of our. Uh, I don't think they got any bomb runs on us. They did actually bag one of our destroyers, though. Let's see how everybody else is doing. She's gonna be okay. We'll get a uh, Waller here all patched up. She's a Fletcher, too, so that's good. Fanning, though, unfortunately, idiots. So, Mississippi, all right. I'm just going to get these fires out up here, back here. Let's go ahead and, well, she's already reduced in speed. Let's just go ahead and take it nice and slow, sister. some of these fires out and hopefully Penzi doesn't come up and ram you here man no. be all right book 17 71 four seconds unfortunately this propeller is cooked she's only got one shaft let's get the rudder fixed up it's gonna take a couple minutes should be okay though You slowing down, you're slowing down. Nice. Nice. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Get these guys out of here. Not great, not terrible. But still got plenty of ammo. Let's go ahead and drop some of that ammo on uh, Guam. It doesn't have any HE though, it's all AP. I don't know if that actually matters when you do shore bombardment. Be cool, sisters. Let's get the, the prop short up first. We're definitely low on speed here because she lost uh, two, one, two, three of her four shafts. So, that's okay. 
give the boys back in Pearl something to do next couple weeks and meanwhile this is an entire Japanese task force down we'll take that for sure so let's just get this all patched up here there we go one more 90 seconds I wonder if turning just that little bit actually threw off their solution that much or if they threw out that big of a spread. I'm kind of curious. I'll have to go pull the replay and see. So when we get all done, there we go. Alright, off we go. And that would be all of them. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> We're ready, Freddy. <laughs> oh, you're going to pay for that. <laughs> Hey. Hello, Guam. How you guys doing? I'm about to have a bad day. <laughs> bangy, bangy. Oh, not enough. Bangy, bangy. Oh, better. Bangy, bangy. <laughs> and that's what we wanted. <laughs> How are we doing on ammo here, man? Out of 14 inch, out of 16 inch, out of 14 inch. All right. Guys, head on back up to Guam. We can go ahead and split off Mississippi. We don't have to worry about planes coming out of here no more, which means you guys here. Uh, we can just send them directly down there now and go ahead and land some fighter boys off. And it should be good. Who is this? Who are you? What's your problem? Oh no, I don't I don't care about you guys. I want you guys to come back home. Get out of here. My bad. You guys are all RTB. My kingfishers. RTB. 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 We don't need you. I don't know what you guys are doing and where you came from. There might be something up there that I don't know about. There might be something up in here that I don't know about. Let's go ahead and pull you guys back. There. I'm a little bit suspicious now. You have ired my suspicion. It's okay. We're still going to invade early in the morning. Or later tonight. Alright, so who do we want to pull off here? Is anybody else damaged? So Waller and Mississippi. Let's go ahead and split you guys off. Split you guys off. No, not shore bombardment. Split. There we go. Test Force 61. <sighs> Back to Midway, gentlemen. We still have plenty of plane train pain train down here. You guys can just sit there and be cool. Let's just park out a Saipan here for a little bit. Let's get those planes back in. Saipan. Uh, wow, we lost quite a few of those. Land. Didn't even notice. Wasn't paying attention. 1600. So, late night landing here. Dauntless is out here. Yep, don't care about that. Go away. Piss off. Kind of curious if there's something up in here. We'll find out tomorrow. Let's go ahead and land, boys. So this is 5,000 Marines. Uh, unload all. That's pretty good. That's that's pretty damn good. So I expected there to be a little bit more than that there. So we can just go ahead and run these guys back up to Guam or to Saipan. So we got 20,000. We got 30,000 Marines up here. We can go and pick up another batch. Go ahead and loft load these guys and bring this airfield up here a little bit. These guys are heading back. We got $144 dues in the bank, and we've got these guys here. We're gonna pick up some more dudes off of Wake. Wake's got 4,000, so I think we should probably pick up half these guys. Uh, let's do that. Because uh, we have a Harris. We have two Harrises. Harry! Yoink, yoink, yoink. Oh, oh, not close enough. My bad. Oh, I'll budge up in there. There we go. And nothing down here. 
At least not yet. Maybe. Yep, don't care about this. Those guys coming out of truck. We don't care about truck. We do not care about truck. So, you guys are there. Let's go ahead and pick these dudes up. So, 40... 30 it's 26 at least 1400 this picks up 11 let's go ahead and pick those guys up and then let's pick up ah oh man I don't want to pull all their supplies but I will pull all their engineering pull all their engineering leave them some supplies some gas and some troops so this is basically just a garrison now and you guys run on over to Saipan, which is basically turning into our our fuel dump. These guys are heading down. These guys are heading back. $144. Uh, let's make sure that we take Guam first. So we're going to run these guys up and back. And then we'll decide what to do with this. Because um, it's probably getting time to actually send these guys back home. They have done a lot of good service for us. And so far, so good down here. Nothing down here. We're going to beef this up. Then we can park Force A up here. Grab anything coming up there. Okay. So these guys are in Guam now. Let's go ahead and grab another batch. Let's go ahead and rearm. Or not. This is a three, correct? Come on. Unload all. Okay. You guys, going back now. Going back. These guys should be able to rearm there. Hang on. There we go. All ships rearmed. Yes, we got all our planes back. Sweet, sweet. Little couple dingers, dingers here and there. No big deal. A little bit flooded in that guy. That's okay. So, 5,100, 4,400. I don't want to build this up to an air base, so all I want to bring down there is more troops. Um, let's go ahead and do that. And there's the cargo. Give me some fighter balls. And... Wait a minute. So that's 2,600? 44? Yeah, no, actually, I want some more supplies too, just in case. Just one thing of supplies. Probably work. Cool. Go on down there. Reinforce. You're next on the menu, buddy. Iwo Jima. What we got? We got a five up here. I'm tempted to just like absolutely plaster it with troops. Um, so a five would actually give them what? Um, plus 100% combat strength for their troops because it's 20% per level. Hmm. Maybe knock that down to a three. So a three would be plus 60%. And it wouldn't take that much to build that back up. And then we could probably land about 10,000 dudes up there. Yeah, let's do that. So let's get these guys going first here, though. So uh, make sure that we can actually snag Guam. We can backfill Saipan with the boys that are on Guam right now fighting these dudes off. These guys are not going to last. Uh, I do want to get just a little bit more parity going on here. Uh, but these guys are coming in, and they have two Harrises, and we have two Harrises here. And so that's 2,600 times 4. So that's, what, a good 8,000, 10,400 troops. <laughs> Mariner, where are you? No, oh, yep. Truck's just going to be kind of a pain in the ass. We don't really care about it. Because I don't need to take it to win the game. Not that I really need anything to win the game. At this point in time, let's go ahead and drop these dudes off. 
unload all. Let's check this out. Perfect. That'll work. So we have pretty good troop to supply ratio there. Not the greatest. I mean, ideally you'd want it about two to one, but it's okay. Boys have enough shit tickets. They'll live. Amphib group A. What is this? Oh, we got planes. How'd you get planes coming out of Guam? Liars. That's okay. We have planes too now. Haha. -ha. <laughs> hmm. Actually, we might have submarines here too. Hang on just a sec. Deep battle line. One, two, three, four. Ten. Once you guys swap. Just in case. This is something gnarly. There we go. Okay. And you guys are these guys. Uh, airplanes. Launch aircraft. Yeah. The Hellcats, please. I don't know where we're getting jumped by here, but we're going to go ahead. And we're, we're, I'm going to be careful on this one. I'm going to micro this one here a little bit because these Hellcats come in freaking hot. Let's see if we can do this proper like shoot all these jerks down unless there's unless there's something here that's gnarly where are my radars radars are up radars radars up plus here turn on your sonar what do we got out here we've got roofs zeros with benefits do i need to micro these guys if they're roofs probably not Probably not. 32. <laughs> 32 Hellcats? <laughs> Against 12 roofs? Let's see. Let's just let them do their thing. Let's see. And you guys can yell at me in the comments if I completely jack this up, and I totally deserve that. So, uh, looks like I deserve that because they're all going over there. So, anyway. I need to splash one of my boys. Got one of their boys. I don't think these guys can outturn us though. Got two of their boys. Got that guy. I, yeah, I think this is a little bit unfair here. So, got that guy, got that guy. Looks like I lost one. And all the other murder boys are murdering him. As they do. Okay, I'll take that. So, these guys, they're just a little bit angry. So, sounds good. Uh, let's keep them over that group here for a little bit. Those guys might have come out from way down here. Peleliu. Maybe. Just in case, that's what they want to do. We want to uh, escort above task amphib group A. Amphib, so this guy lost one guy. Just stick tight there, man. Yeah, come fight us. That's fine. We're okay with that. Yeah, you can come fight us too. I don't know. Oh, these guys are coming out of truck. Also, probably roofs. Zeros with benefits. Hmm. Nothing going on down here. You guys swapping out. You guys coming in here. That's fine. Let's go ahead and take Guam. Let's give this a day or two. And you guys came in. Saipan. I think we can get Saipan up to a four now, if I'm not mistaken. No, not quite. Yep, we're going to need another convoy run here, which means it's probably time to build another convoy. Or we can turn this guy around. 144? Yeah, it's probably time to build another convoy. So, here we go. Uh, so, we want Einzwei. Oh, no, I cannot buy enemy ships. Dumb. Stupid. Dummy, dummy, dummy. Einzwei. And then let's get Murchies. T 
two Harris's. And then C3's, because I love them. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three. Nope, not you. Remove you. So, total cost is 90. Destroyers. TD. Give me one Fletch. And then 99. Probably do Farragut's. Let's see. I'm sure these guys have DP guns on them. <coughs> these are four DPs. Eight. Nope. Four, 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 six. Summers, not DPs. Four, then him. Sims, Benson, Leaves, Fletch. I guess it doesn't matter. Leaves are fine. Four DPs, yep. Bang, bang. Yeah, done. Task Force 30. Go ahead and rename me a TF 30. Saipan. 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 Let's go ahead and load you up, dude. Um, here we go. Gas. Gas. Boys. Boys. Supplies. Supplies. Engineering. Probably want more engineering uh, than supplies. Let's go ahead and pull that back. We can bring down more supplies with the next batch. So that's engineering. Engineering, there we go. Okay, so let's see. We got engineering, engineering, gear, boys, boys, gas, gas, there we go. So, gas, gas. Boys. Boys. Gear. Engineering. Engineering. Alright, cool. Off you guys go. It's okay. We're gonna just start building... The Saipan Express, man. Nothing down here. So, at least for the moment. So these guys are coming in. Once those guys get up there and we can actually build that up. Guam is now ours. So it's just on mop up here. We're going to leave that the way that it is. Saipan, yeah, 28,000 boys. Uh, let's get all the groups down here. So we still have, uh, where are my battle wagons? Battle wagons are down here too. They actually need to be resupplied. Where are you boys? There you guys are. Uh, Rearm. Yeah, buddy. Shells, shells. Wow, man, low on shells there. Maybe that's normal. Really? Unless we ran out of stuff here. Nope, we got plenty of stuff. So I guess that's as big as our magazines get. So next run here. And these guys are just running cover out here. I don't know what these guys are doing, but there is something right there that we want to go beat up. Let's go do it. Uh, 6.22 in the morning? Oh, fuck yeah. Let's go grab ourselves a carrier here, shall we? So, let's drop a pin here real quick. Let's see who this is. Who we got? Hey, buddy. Is there actually a carrier here? There is not. It's one of these loser <laughs> seaplane carriers. Kamigawa, Maru, or whatever. We got. We do have um, an Agano. One, two, three, four modern destroyers and a seaplane carrier. You know what? I wonder if that's where some of those roofs have been coming from. We can go bomb this guy. Not the kind of carrier I was hoping for. Should we give the army a crack at him? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Uh, what do we want? We want the big bombs. 
567? How far is that guy? Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Let's give the army a crack at him, shall we? Oh, you know what? I didn't get a course on that guy. Oopsie. Well, let's just watch him carefully, see what happens here. Maybe up here, up here. We got plenty of, we got plenty of gas. Let's see if we can find you. Way out here. Oh no, down here, truck. Yay, truck. Yay, truck. Man, that was dumb. I should have actually got a course and a heading on that guy. Or a heading and a speed. Let's just jump in here and see if we can find this guy. Nothing. See nothing. That's okay. Not a high dollar target. Don't really care. Not a dangerous target, we'll put it that way. So RTB. We'll find him again. That was dumb on my part though. One of many dumb things I've done over the course of the series. We're still getting some dudes up here. So, it's an Avenger. Who is this? There he is. Alright, so he went north. Let's go ahead and drop a pin here. Let's make sure this is the same guy. Remove that one. He's definitely in range of the carriers. So maybe the Navy doesn't, or I mean the Army doesn't get one in today. Where is this guy? They're way out here. Yep, heading north. Same guys, same guys. Yep. What is this guy? This guy is a... Um, not a torpedo bomber. Stop that. You are CBL. He's one of these little dudes here. Not American. Hey, don't be jumping me, man. Hang on, I'm just trying to ID you, man. Be cool. Kamikawa Maru. CVL, and they carry roofs. Yeah, that's probably where a lot of them roofs are coming from. Anyway, 18351. Got it. Dive bomber practice. 18351. Here we go. 351. 18 knots. Uh, so what is it? Two hours puts us there. Drop pin there. Okay, that's two hours. Here we go. Oh, who wants the honors? Sister Sarah. No, nope, no, nope, sorry. Launch aircraft. Sister Sarah. Oh yeah, your Dauntless is look hungry. Let's, let's let's go blow some things up. Um, Hornet, Cinder Wildcats, and Donaldses. <laughs> 1.2 hours, so there and then there. Um, where are your friends? Wait, these guys. Stick with them. And Wildcats. There we go. Stick with them. There we go. Let's go blow up some more Japanese ships here, shall we? You guys, man, what are you guys doing getting off course here, man? Get in there. Here we go. Everybody goes in together. Should be about here. Ish. <gasps> oh, 
That's different. That's different. Not what I expected. Oh, no, it is those guys. Misidentified. Time to murder. So the Wildcats, they're just on auto attack. Everybody else is, like, over here just... Cruising around. Singing a song. Coming along. Um... What are we going to blow up? This guy and that guy. So, okay. <laughs> oh, man. What did what, what, you guys accuse me of early, earlier? Cl clubbing baby seals or something like that? <laughs> I guess that's what we're going to do. So, up we go. Let's go ahead and uh, get up to 7,000 feet. Well, how did I do this last time? I did it like... Oh no, I jacked that up last time that I did it, didn't I? So let's just, let's just be cool. 7,000 feet. I'm gonna break these guys up here a little bit. 7,000 feet. I'm not too worried about their AA capacity here. So we can go ahead and break everybody up here a little bit. 7,000 feet. Max speed. Everybody climb up. Hang on the props. And we can go in there and just absolutely plaster these dudes. And that'll actually be a pretty good episode, because we're, we're at an hour already. So, not that I'm trying to get rid of you guys or nothing. Just the last one was like two hours long, and it was way longer than I thought it was going to be. So, just kind of worked out that way. So, it's okay. I like hanging out with you guys. So, just um, don't want to waste your time. So we did have a pretty decent surface murder fight earlier tonight, and we grabbed Guam, so there we go. Iwo Jima is next on the menu. That'll probably be the next episode, um, depending on how this goes. This should probably go fairly well. <laughs> Too worried about these guys? But you never know. There might be a whole bunch of zeros hanging around here somewhere that I don't see. Um, you see some planes probably spooking around out here somewhere, but we're going to kill them off with the Wildcats. And we're just going to get these guys all up the altitude here at 7,000 feet. And I could select all these guys, but then I'd have to break them all up again. So, I think. I think that's what I discovered the last time I tried to do this. Uh, with a whole absolute metric shitload of <laughs> dauntlesses <laughs> coming in after a, a small group of targets so the only two people that we're concerned about here are the uh, the light cruiser which I believe is an Agano let's go find out who that guy is um, I think it was the big new modern one Oyoto and now it's not the one with the hanger it's this guy here which is not an Agano this is Yubari. There's only one of you. Cool. Let's go ahead and see to that, shall we? And then you, back here, buddy. You are a non-carrier carrier. Kamikawa Maru. 6,400 sounds that Man, that's not even like... That's like half a normal carrier. <laughs> I mean, a normal light carrier. What are they? Zuiho's like 14,000 tons? I don't know. 18,000 tons. Tayo. You guys up to altitude yet? Let's see. 7,000 feet. Here we go. Here we go. Let's split them all up, shall we? Oh, let's see. Uh, per, 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 per you guys. Um, target this guy. Yep. Attack. 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 This is just mean. Attack. There's a blow up a couple destroyers too, man. It's kind of a waste of ammo, but whatever. I 
Yeah, what the hell? Just go blow up some things, boys. Let's see if we can get them all. I doubt it, but you never know. Everybody's coming and coming in on their own angle here, so fine by me. That should be two groups on everybody and three on the middle. So inbound, boys. What are we at? 7,000 feet? Perfect. Wildcat got downed. By what? These guys are just spooking around out here being silly. Getting shot at by the Navy. You guys got bigger problems though, man. Your bigger problems are... Where are they? They are out that way. Not here somewhere. This is going to be bloody and it's going to be quick. We'll see what happens to these dudes here. Yeah, go ahead and shoot at those guys, man. Wildcat's just drawing a little bit of fire here. Here comes the main event. <laughs> Inbound. You know, it just occurred to me, it doesn't take that much distance for these guys to actually climb that high. Because <laughs> you always duck in at what, like 4,500, 5,000 feet? So getting up to 7,000 feet doesn't take that much distance at all. So, <laughs> all these guys spooking around in here. You guys are nice and broken up here, man. So we might catch some anti-aircraft fire. There's nothing truly dangerous here except for this guy. I think this guy's got pretty beefy an aircraft battery on him, but not too worried about it. At least not at the moment. So we got plenty of planes coming in, that's for sure. Did lose one Wildcat though. So and these guys are off uh, Hornet in Saratoga, if I'm not mistaken. And they're all coming in. Coming in hot and heavy. There's a group. It's definitely more maneuverable than the carriers that we usually go after, but we should be able to bag this guy for sure. Maybe not some of these other dudes. But you never know. Just a couple bomb hits here and there will probably take care of them. There they go. Down we go. You guys are next. Down we go. going after who here. Might as well just watch it from down here. There we go. That's nice. That's mm -hmm. nice grouping right there. Mm -hmm. Come the bombs. Got him. Mm -hmm. Missed him. Coming in on him. Got him. Mm -hmm. Missed. This got him. Missed him. Where are my bombers coming after this dude? Here, here they come. Here they come. There we go. What's like four? That'll work. Come more. This. Got him. Looks like we got one more batch coming in. Sounds like we got one more batch coming in. Let's see how this works out. We did lose quite a few planes there, though, man. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, miss. Check that out. We missed that dude. And we lost another one. Heavy, heavy, moderate, moderate, critical heavy on the Ubari. Lost one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Brutal. This guy's having a bad day, though. Um, let's see if I can grab all these guys here. 
There we go. Let's form those guys up. Cannot mix aircraft types. What are you talking about? I told you to select these dudes here. And that way. Oh, what's, what's going on here, man? Stop that. There we go. You yeah, have this way. Let's go ahead and hit the deck. Might come in here and do a little strafe strafe. Especially if this dude sinks. We'll let all these these guys jet out of here. So, yeah, what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Wildcats. I bet you that'd be enough to take this guy out. Uh, especially if this guy sinks here. Let's check this out again. Heavy moderate, heavy heavy, so they got rid of the critical. And a lot of these guys are really beat up. Let's just give them a minute and see what actually happens here. Not this way. Let's go ahead and spread the sound. Spread out a little bit more. Should be leaving. Get out of here. <laughs> Let's keep eyeballs on these guys. See what happens here. And this guy got his deck fires out. Not just quite yet. This guy's burning pretty hard up here. How greedy do I want to get? I bet you we could go hit this guy. Back here. Is he dead in the water? No, he's not. Don't want that dude? Kind of want this guy. Lose too many planes though. Mm. How would we do this? Mm. Well, he got his fires out. All the fires are out. The guys cruising out that way. Probably bag this dude. What do you guys think, man? <clears throat> 16 Wildcats with uh, 650 cals? Or what is it, 450 cals? Mm. Mm. Probably rip this guy to pieces. And all the other guys are out here just mm. spooking on around. All on one side. Mm. We could rake her. Mm. Or we could just go in here and grab this guy. Everybody here is spread out pretty good. I'm tempted to just lay y'all. Let's go get this carrier. Carrier. So oh, here we go. Warm up. Come on, boys. Come on. Right ahead. Line up on me. And we're just going to come in this way, cheese it out that way. Like this. Like this. There we go. Perfect. Come on, boys. Let's go get this dude. Shouldn't get too much fire. You never know though. Might get a little bit. Right, she's, she's right out here. This guy. Right out here. There's that light cruiser right there. I kind of like to get her, but I'd rather get 
carrier. She's been scanned. Let's see how many boys get splashed here. Nobody's smoking. Nobody's smoking. So anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and form up. Max speed. This is good enough. A little bit broken up here. Coming right for you, buddy. Coming right for you. You guys go. Attack. Pop up. You should cheese it out this direction here. We'll just get a little oblique fire from these two guys. So, this is a pretty good angle here, though, man. Get the off pin. It's gonna hurt. Pop, pop. One. No explosions though, man. I wanted a big boomba. Got none of that. Lost a bird. That stinks. <laughs> I like fireworks, man. Critical minor, only minor flooding? Serious? Nah, I don't really want to lose any more Wildcats. I want this guy to burn down, though. That'd be nice. Let's speed this up, see what happens. They're going to get that one little fire out, though. <laughs> ah, that's okay. Heading back to Japan. Going to hit the scrapyard. Fine by me. Now, if this was an actual mm -hmm. flat top, I'd be a little bit more committed here. But I don't really want to lose any more points. So uh, fine, whatever. You can you can live. <laughs> you and friends can go away now. Bring all my boys back. RTB. RTB. And that's what I thought. I thought there was something spooking around out here. And if it's just a little dumb carrier like that, that's fine by me. You guys can come fight us later. So or not. Whatever. Fine by me. This is almost ours. This is ours. It is ours. So anyway, let's go ahead and run this here just a little bit. I didn't see anything up there. Maybe. Let's go ahead and run it till early morning. And then we'll rejigger all of our all of our ships here. You guys are heading down. You guys are heading in. You guys are heading down. You guys are heading back. You guys are heading back. And we're good. So here we are. 16th November 1942. So buck 18. So that's good enough for tonight here. Episode number 55 in the bank. Uh, let's check our dock. Okay. So we took a couple hits today. Uh, sorry, hang on, here we go. So we did lose one destroyer here today. Fanning, Mayhan class destroyer, 1,500 tons. Down, Dunzo, enemy. So they lost a whole task group today. <laughs> here on the 13th of November, 1942, we got Inagano, Noshiro, Agano, Amagiri, uh, Yugiri, Naganami, so it's a Yugumo, uh, Kawaz Kawakazi, Oyota, Zuzu, was a Nagara, and Ashagiri, Asagiri, and Kuma, all Dunzo. And so that was a pretty heavy beating on their part, even though that last task group there with that carrier. <laughs> <laughs> managed to get away but the most important thing tonight is that we actually snagged Guam so this is ours so it is blue and uh, we just got to clean a few boogers off here uh, we'll leave that to the Fada Marine Corps our Fada boss in blue to take care of that and then uh, well mean green and then uh, 
up here we probably want to flush this out with a couple more destroyers maybe a heavy cruiser um ooh, 33 dollars probably do that here real quick hang on uh no we have not had a no boat sighting in a little while have we might be time Oh, nope. No, no boats out there somewhere. Where is she? <laughs> I don't know. So that's okay. All right. We'll think about it a little bit here because uh, I actually, I don't think we have another big battleship. Do we? Nope. Big 10? Nope. New Max? Yep. All three of you are in there. Penzi is in there. Maryland. We could get Maryland in the fight here. So $70. Yeah. Okay. So let's wait a couple days. We'll go ahead and get Maryland down here along with a couple destroyers to flush out this group here. Task Force 44, which acquitted itself well tonight. So let's go in here. Check these boys out. So they did a good job. Um, Penzi, Colorado, New Mex, Idaho, San Juan. Bringing up the rear here. This is actually a pretty powerful task group too, so we might not actually need any more. <laughs> we might not need any more firepower. Well, actually, that's a dumb question. Of course, we need more firepower, so maybe next episode we'll get that in there. So, but anyway, that's all I got for you here tonight. Questions, comments, concerns, bang, bang, bang. You guys know where those things go. If you want to keep it in the series, you know what you need to do. So, but it's episode number 55 in the can. Episode number 56 coming your way here pretty soon. Hope to see you there. Take care now. Bye.